plants are the foundation of life on Earth. Our planet hosts a huge variety of flora, including grasses, but these are often overlooked as being insignificant. In fact, grasses play a vital role in our habitat. Grasses, or graminaceous plants as they are also known, have profoundly influenced the development of human civilization. Grasses and Life What is a grass? It is the common name for members of the Graminiae or Poissiae family. Edible crops like rice, maize, and sorghum, the green lawns of parks, and the weeds found in wastelands. Many plants with long slender leaves and flowers in small spikelets are classed as grasses. In addition to the grass crops, some other grasses can be commonly found in Taiwan. For example, Chloris barbata, Eleusine indica, Sancris echinatus, and Cetaria viridis. Along the coast, species like Dactyloctinium aegyptium and Spinifex litorius thrive. The reeds that grow in marshes and on riverbanks, the wild Saccharum spontaneum that covers the edges of streams with white flowers like snow and fall, the swaying Miscanthus floridulis growing in suburban mountain areas, and the various species of dwarf bamboo that covers Taiwan's mountains at certain elevations, including Sudosasa usawai and Sinobambuza kunishii at Yangshan and Eushania niita kayamensis at high elevations are all common grasses in Taiwan. Taiwan is located in the warm subtropics with a variety of elevations up to almost 4,000 meters above sea level. Its very geographic and climactic conditions have nurtured a diversity of grasses. In terms of taxonomy, Grasses are classified as belonging to the division Anthophyta, class Monocotyledons, order Poalis. Most grasses are small, slender, herbaceous plants. Their roots tend to be a mass of fibrous roots of the same thickness, which cling onto the surface layer in the shallow depths of the soil, holding them in place. Some species form pneumatophores, or breathing roots, on the Earth's surface. Stems While a small number of grasses have subterranean stems, some have stems that grow vertically above ground, sometimes with runners that grow outwards. The stems often have nodes from which leaves or branches grow. The leaves of most grasses are long and narrow in shape. The venation of the leaves is mostly parallel. When leaves grow from a node, the basal part that surrounds the stem is called the sheath. The ligule is the tiny narrow membranous outgrowth at the junction between the leaf blade and sheath. Although it is minute, it can be clearly seen in some species. Grasses do not generally have very conspicuous flowers. The inflorescence is composed of special spikelets, each with one or more florets. Although grasses' florets are not easily discriminated by the naked eye, under the microscope, a myriad of different shapes and patterns can be seen. The flower is usually very small and does not easily attract insects. Therefore, most grasses produce large amounts of pollen, which is dispersed by the wind. Thus, grasses are said to be anemophilous, or pollinated by the wind. After pollination, 
these varied florets produce a wide range of caryopsis, or grains. Grasses seeds are covered and protected by a seed coat. The fully developed and nutritious endosperm within the coat provides the best nutrients for the growing seed and is also the main source of food for humans. Distributed widely across every corner of the globe, grasses make our planet green. Mature Caryopsis may ride the wind to far-off places. With human and animal help, or other methods of dissemination, the Caryopsis are taken even further. Parks, fields, riverbanks, seashores, and mountains, even sand and salt flats. Almost any place that is exposed to sunlight will have grasses growing there. Most of the nutrients needed by plants come from sunlight through the process of photosynthesis. Grasses are the most abundant flora on the earth in terms of kinds and amounts. They absorb sunlight and produce carbohydrates through photosynthesis. Besides fueling their own growth, plants also store energy within their roots, stems and leaves. Energy is stored in the form of starch within the seed. The roots, stems, leaves and seeds of grasses provide food for many birds, insects, and mammals. Thus, these grasses support an abundance of life. Many wild animals find shelter or habitat in the lush vegetation of prairies or grasslands. Some make the grasses their home. Others vanish temporarily into the grass, hidden by their cunning camouflage. Others use grasses to build a den or nest to protect their offspring, ensuring the survival of their species within a dense and secret world created by grasses. Herbivores depend for their survival on plants, particularly grasses. Apart from wild animals, mankind also relies on grasses to raise or herd large numbers of herbivores like cattle, horses, and sheep which eat grass. Herbivores depend on grasses to survive. As man learned to herd and rear them, his life gradually transformed from the primitive lifestyle of the hunter-gatherer to the life of the nomad, settling wherever there was grass for his herds. Finally, man learned to cultivate grain from seeds and began living in fixed agricultural communities. Since ancient times, our staple foods have included grasses like rice, wheat, maize, and sorghum. Even the less well-recognized edible water bamboo, Zizania latifolia, is a kind of grass. In fact, the entire development of human civilization is founded on man's utilization of grasses. This proves how indebted we are to grasses. Different grains have molded different civilizations and lifestyles. Paddy fields symbolize the entire rice-based culture of the East. While wheat represents the bread and butter of Western culture. The diversity of the grains at our disposal has created entirely different cultures in the East and West. Various Aborigines have their own cultures, based on millet or maize. In general, grasses are thought of as small and slender. Bamboo does not fit this description, but it is a member of the grass family. 
Bamboo is a woody, graminaceous plant. It can grow very tall, and it usually has a broad, rigid culm. Bamboo is different from ordinary grasses in that it can grow branches from the nodes on its woody culm, and its leaves have petioles or leaf stalks. In the tropical and subtropical regions where bamboo grows, the lives of local people are closely linked to this useful plant. In Taiwan, people eat bamboo shoots, which spring out of the earth beside the main bamboo plant as a vegetable. And throughout history, they have used its hard comb as a versatile and plentiful material for making household implements. As in bygone times, the use of bamboo is widespread even now as a material for everyday objects and tools, and even as an artistic medium. The advancement of human civilization is inseparably linked to grasses. In addition to using grasses as a foodstuff, people have universally used them in all areas of life. The ancient Chinese used bamboo, rushes, rice straw, and other grass products to build houses that provided shelter from rain and wind. Grasses were also used in many traditional handicrafts, like fishing baskets, patterned bamboo baskets, straw hats, brooms, and other woven implements. The dried stalks left after harvesting the grain were also used as kindling material or to make compost or fertilizer. The fibrous structure of grass was also used to make paper pulp for various types of paper. Sugarcane is another graminaceous plant. The red cane commonly seen in rural Taiwan is often eaten raw as a sweet. White sugar cane is the main raw material for global sugar production. Both types of cane satisfy man's sweet tooth. Winemaking is another form of cultural expression. For many years, people have known how to ferment grains like rice, sorghum, and wheat into alcohol and produce different kinds of liquors. In both the East and West, grasses have traditionally been used in medicines. Qua lacrima jobi, Imperata salinidruca, Lophoratham gracile, Sataria palmifolia, Symbopogon citritus, and even ordinary sugarcane and maize have helped mankind fend off disease and ease pain. Many more of nature's secrets remain locked in the grasses around us. Grasses, in their diversity, make up the largest group of plants on Earth. At present, around 10,000 species of grasses in 620 genera are known globally. Taiwan's grasses show a high level of biodiversity with more than 300 species in 126 genera. The term biodiversity includes the three levels of genes, species, and ecosystems. Farmers and agronomists are taking advantage of grasses' genetic biodiversity using traditional hybridization techniques and modern genetic engineering to produce high-yield strains of rice, maize, and other cereal crops. This helps give people greater choice in foods. Some grasses have high yields, others are disease-resistant, and others thrive in salty or arid conditions, while others contain special substances or constituents. 
the species biodiversity of grasses has enabled them to satisfy many human needs. Ecosystems refer to the organisms that appear within a specific region and their relationship with their surrounding environment. About one-third of the global land is covered in grasses. Grasses provide food and habitat to animals. Covering the ground closely, their dense leaves protect the Earth's crust from wind erosion. Below ground, their roots hold the soil in place, preventing it from being washed away by the rain. In landslide or fire-damaged areas, grasses are some of the first plants to emerge, protecting the soil and transforming the environment. When they wither and die, grasses ultimately become a part of the soil, feeding it as a miraculous gift from nature. This is how the Earth's ecological balance is maintained. But this fragile balance is being threatened in Taiwan by excessive pesticide use, the cementing of land, overweeding, and competition from exotic species. These and other activities are jeopardizing the survival of native grasses and threaten grasses' biodiversity. A strand of grass, one drop of dew. Every strand of grass holds an infinite vitality. Grasses are the plants we see most often. Their existence is closely intertwined with our own. Yet, regrettably, most people are not even aware of them let alone willing to study them closer. The fertility of the earth we rely on depends on grasses, linking the advancement of human civilization inextricably with grasses. Each of the commonplace, seemingly insignificant weeds we see bobbing in the breeze under a blue sky plays a crucial role in our natural ecosystem. If one day you are willing to get up close and personal with grasses at short range and are willing to pay attention to the humble grasses at your side, to breathe in the earth's unique grassy fragrance, we assure you, you will experience something totally different.